Well, hello there. Yes. Yes, it is that time again, my friends. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading. Here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon of July the 12th of 2020. And as usual, I will go over some of the Tarot de Marseille trump cards that I have drawn at random for this upcoming week as well as look at some of the astrology for the upcoming week. As usual, it will be interesting, so do please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards that I drew at random for our week are Death, the Emperor, and the Devil. Well, this is not a bad reading, okay? Let me explain it to you. We see the figure of death. He is moving towards the future, the direction of the right. He is churning away with his scythe, chopping, destroying, annihilating that which is in his path. Now, the Emperor is looking at him as the Death card looks at him, and he's holding up his scepter of power as if to say, no, I put a stop to you. I don't want your changes right now. Because what I'm doing is I am ignoring negativity around me. Notice that the Emperor has his back to the Devil. The Devil is mocking him. The Devil is, in a way, the Emperor in reverse negative rulership to look at it one way but the main thing is the emperor is ruling he's controlling he's sitting there on his seat of power so it is with us too this is our week to seize it to take control to not let ourselves be steamrolled to not let ourselves be mocked to not let ourselves be led astray to be tied into other people's negativity their situations, their demands, whatever it is, whatever would cause us to mock our purpose in life for at least this week, we need to be really strong and resist those forces. And I can tell you right now, it's not going to be that hard. we got some good astrology coming up. Yes, we do. We are finished as of today with Mercury Retrograde. Yay! It's behind us, dealing with those communication glitches, those strange occurrences that can happen with the retrograde. It's behind us. I am not really into shadow periods with retrograde. Some people say you have a shadow of three weeks before, uh, a shadow of three weeks afterwards, like you have these lingering effects. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't put that, I don't put that much negativity on a retrograde anyhow. I just know things can get funky and we get caught up in past stuff. That's what tends to happen to me. When we go into some kind of retrograde, I end up ruminating about the past. And this is not always in a positive way. But now that's behind us. Okay, So now we can look forward to spending a week getting rid of things we don't need. We're coming into the third quarter of the moon. There aren't any really great aspects that I want to talk about. Like for certain planetary days, uh, we don't have the proper planets aligned with the moon correctly that I would highly recommend a day for magic. But I can say this, this is a good time for getting rid of things. Uh, next week, next Monday, we'll have a new moon. We'll talk about that more. Okay, And the next blog coming up uh, next Sunday. But know this, this is a good final time to clear things out sweep the decks clean, and get ready for some new energy in our lives. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed our reading this week. I really appreciate you. I do. I appreciate your support. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings. <laughs>